Hi, this is TJR. You know, uh, a while back, uh, some years back, I was watching American Idol, and one of the contestants was listening to Jimmy Iovine, who was the uh, the show's mentor that season, and little Steven, who was the guest mentor for that episode. And they were discussing one of the contestants' songs, and um, they kept saying, okay, I think she needs to take it back to the sixth chord. And, and they were using the, uh, these terms, and they cut away to the contestant uh, in her little private interviews, and she said, there was a point there where Jimmy Iovine and Little Stephen were talking about the seven chord and the nine chord. I had no clue what they were talking about, you know. And if you remember my video that I did uh, regarding the uh, lawsuit with Ed Sheeran and Matt Cardle for the songs Photograph and Amazing, I started to talk about how both songs had a one five six four chord progression. And I stopped and said, you know, if now if you're not understanding this, I, I think I'm going to do a separate video that will discuss this. And so this is that video. So um, I was talking about in the video that, you know, uh, Amazing and Photograph both follow a one, five, six, four chord progression. Um, amazing was in C and Photograph was in the key of E and both major keys. And so how do I explain that to you, what that means? So let's take a look here. In music there are seven notes. I'm going to start with A because the alphabet starts with A. And A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then after that we're back to A again. The eighth note is the same as the first note. We call that the octave. Octave means eight, eight notes, eight tones higher, I should say. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and then B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and it just keeps repeating up and down the scale like that. So seven notes. And I just played an A minor scale. There we go. Um, now, Amazing is written in the key of C. Here's the C major scale. In the C major scale, the one note is C. Just like in A minor, the one note is A. The one note in C major is C. And E major scale. In E major, we have four sharps, which are the black keys. They're sometimes called sharps, they're sometimes called flats, but in E major, they're called sharps. And those sharps are F, G, C, and D. F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. In E major, the E is the one note. Okay, so let's go back to C major now. The C is the one note. From that root note, we can build a chord triad. That's C major. The D is the two note. From that note, we can build the next chord triad in the scale, which is D minor. The third note is E. From there we build a chord triad called E minor. The fourth note is F. From there we build a chord triad called F major. The fifth note is G. From there we build a root chord called G major. The sixth note is A. From there we build a chord triad called A minor. The seventh note is B. And from there we build a chord triad called B diminished. And then we're back to C again. And you just keep going up the scale. C, D minor, E minor, F, G. We just keep going. In E major, it works the same way in that key signature, um, where we have four sharps. So E is the root note. And so the one chord that we can build, the chord triad we can build, is E major. F, sh F sharp is the second note. So the chord we build is F-sharp minor from the root note of F-sharp. G-sharp is the third note. From there we can build a root triad chord of G-sharp minor. A is the fourth note. From there we build a root triad chord of A major. And so on and so forth. Just like C major, but in a different key. And now, that is why I say in Amazing, 
it's one, five, six, four. C major, the one chord, G major, the five chord, A minor, the six chord, F major, the four chord, in C major. In photograph, it's the same chord progression, chord progression, excuse me. It's just in another key, which is E major. So the one chord is E major. The five chord is B major. The sixth chord is C sharp minor. And the fourth chord is A major. There we go. So that is why uh, you may have heard, and you may have heard me say it too, uh, a lot of musicians will say it's, it's a 1-4-5 progression, which is an extremely common chord progression used in a lot of songs and with a million variations. And so in C major, that progression, the one note is C, so C is C major is the one chord. You count one, two, three, four. F is the fourth note in the scale, so F major is the four chord. The fifth note is G, and so the G chord is the five chord. And so in C major, we have a one, four, five progression. Same thing in E major. Uh, the one note is E. Then the, we go up to four. A major to five. B major. Like that. Going back to C major, I just did one, four, five, but you could also do one, five, four. Start on the five. Land on the one. All different kinds of ways you can do this. You could go one, four, five, back to four. Whole bunch of songs use that particular variation. Same holds true of E major. Uh, So anyways, that's what is meant when you hear any musician saying, you know, go to the five chord. They mean the five chord in the scale. Uh, and that depends on the key signature. And there's a whole bunch of key signatures out there. Although there are certain key signatures that are just uh, very um, common to piano and certain key signatures that are more common to guitar, depending on the instrument. Hey there, this is TJR, and I hope that video was useful for you. Please let me know. Um, did that help you in any way? And uh, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.